Welcome to Dalesford Abbey. Thank you for joining us for our Novena to St. Joseph, inspired by Pope Francis's declaration of the Jubilee Year of St. Joseph and his apostolic letter, Patris Corde, or With the Father's Heart. Let us begin with prayer. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only son, and you, Mary, placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Today we will reflect on the section of Patris Corde entitled, A Creatively Courageous Father. And this section, according to the Pope, actually begins where the previous one, an accepting father, left off by saying that we must have done the inner work in some way, or true interior healing we must have achieved, says the Pope, in order to accept our personal history and the things in life we did not choose, so that when we face challenges in life, especially those that involve our family in some way, we are to engage and approach those challenges in a creatively courageous way. And that's inspired by the model of St. Joseph. Uh, for me personally, I've always had a personal association with the name Joseph and uh, Joseph, the worldly father of Jesus, because my father's middle name is Joseph, so that has just been a natural association for me. Uh, but in reading this section of the Pope's letter, I was really taken by the way that the Pope calls for uh, men and fathers and all of those seeking a, a fatherly mindset in general to really embrace that inner work that we need to do personally to achieve some sort of healing within so that we can work for a kind of healing without, both within our families as well as within the world in a social context. Uh, Pope Francis goes to say that in the infancy narratives, Joseph was the man chosen by God to guide the beginnings of the history of redemption. He is, according to the Pope, a true miracle by which God saves the child Jesus and his mother Mary. Now, if we were to read these scriptures, these infancy narratives, according to the Pope, superficially, uh, the scriptures would make it look as if the world is at the mercy of the powerful. Yet, according to Pope Francis, God always finds a way to carry out his saving plan. And uh, apparently this absence of God is really not so much, says the Pope, uh, the absence of God as defined by, you know, a society run by the powerful. Um, but instead, says the Pope, this is actually indication that we, humanity, is being trusted with God's plan to be creative through the father figure of Joseph, to find solutions ourselves in what he calls a creative faith. And Pope Francis also writes that Jesus and Mary are mysteriously entrusted to our own responsibility for care and safekeeping. This is both as fathers and as human people. He reminds us that the Son of God, the Son of the Almighty, came into this world in a state of great vulnerability. So there is certainly a call there in the model of St. Joseph to seek the best solutions for ourselves and our families, as well as for the world, engaging in a social context there that takes us beyond ourselves and our families. Uh, but if I could add personally as a father, sometimes it is a great challenge to engage with the status quo that maybe does not work in the best interest of your children, your wives, your families, those that you hold close to you. So this does take certainly take a creative faith and a creative kind of courage that allows us to challenge and engage those elements of society, culture, education, medicine that maybe don't work for our family's best interests, but we are called nonetheless to engage with within the world as we work together cooperatively as one family growing towards God and Christ. So let us pray now prayers of intercession. For all fathers, that they may embrace the movement of the Spirit toward greater courage and creativity in their lives, to do what is best for their families and for the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all, especially fathers, may deepen their relationship with Christ through engaging in and sharing life-giving activities and practices with their friends, family, and loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
and for the integration of the mature masculine in our world and union with the feminine through creative courage to seek solutions and unity among difference. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And may our gracious God, from whom all fatherhood flows and returns, bless you with the new life among your families and friends, in your work and in your inner life. May Jesus, obedient Son in Nazareth, bless you with an open heart attentive to God's will and with the courage to respond to God's call. May the Holy Spirit, who spoke to Joseph in dreams, fire your minds and hearts and strengthen your hands to work together with all God's children in building a new world of peace. May God be praised this day and forever. Amen. Thank you.